a toast. Mm. Not much else to say. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a winter's favorites video. These are the essentials that helped me get through winter. If you don't know what I mean, then you are doing something right, my friend. Winter can be kind of a dreary time. You just look outside and you see all the dead trees and all of the dead leaves and all of the dead grass and all the dead death. Everyone's cold, everyone's grumpy, everyone's tired of the cold, therefore they're being grumpy. So I have some things that helped me stay warm, that helped me stay alive and rejuvenated. <laughs> and I have some things that I tried out and they worked out pretty well. And so I want to share those with you today. First thing I am actually wearing. Flannels are my favorite. If you don't own a flannel, get one. It is a must have for every wardrobe. No matter where you live, no matter who you are, a flannel is necessary. Especially if you live somewhere cold. But even if you don't live somewhere cold, Actually, I take that back. You probably don't need a flannel. This flannel I got at a consignment shop here in town. It's really, really thick. I really like it. It's not too, it's not like super soft, but it's really durable and it's pretty loose. So I have full range of motion, which is what you want in a shirt, right? It's helped keep me warm. I wear it just inside all the time. It's just kind of my go-to shirt. I just wear it when I don't know what else to wear. I really, I recommend to everybody, get a flannel. Winter just goes so much better. And then summer you can wear it around your waist and it's very fashionable. That's why you should get it, If you even if you live in a warm climate, get one to wear around your waist. Second item here, wool socks. I don't know how to describe how great these are. They are so cushioned. You can wear them around the house just like your slippers or anything that you would wear around the house. They are very, very, very warm. If you live anywhere cold, please get yourself some wool socks. I went to North Dakota four times, I believe, in this past winter. And oh my goodness, if there is one thing I can say about North Dakota, it is stinking cold up there. Wool socks are a must. They're just very comfy. I also wear these around the house all the time. In fact, why not? They're so pretty! One of the best Christmas presents I've ever gotten. Thank you, Alex. Next thing, I have been searching for the perfect ponytail. Well, I've been searching for the perfect lots of things. Shampoo and conditioner, chapstick, but ponytail is one of them. And I have not been able to find the perfect any of those until now. This is the best ponytail ever. It holds up my hair. It holds it while keeping my scalp loose. I have two different sizes. I have these little ponytails that are for like little ponytails and these you can put your hair up in a bun. You can put your hair up in um, like that half up bun that's really cute. You can put your hair in braids. You can put anything. These ponytails are so good. They do get stretched out but all you have to do is put it in hot water and it gets small. It shrinks and they don't break. I can't tell you how much I love these things. Next item isn't necessarily one that you wear, but it is kind of. Moisturizer. Winter can get so, so, so dry. Moisturizer is a must. Take care of your skin. I have the Aveeno Positively Radiant moisturizer. Aveeno is like my brand. If I were ever to represent a brand, it would be Aveeno. Obviously, I love it. 
this moisturizer especially because it is not oily it doesn't put your oil on your skin and so doesn't make it greasy and there is sunscreen in it so it protects your face as well as mo moisturizes it and it's all made out of natural stuff this is what I will use till the day I die probably this next thing is different but I like it. As I was explaining before, winter is kind of just dead. So it helps to liven things up with something alive. I put this on my bookshelf right there and it has like these vine things that hit you in the face that hang down and it's really decorative and I really really like it and it brightens the place up. So having a plant has been awesome. Next thing that I have I don't even have yeah if you watch my first video this item was sitting right here on my shelf I brought it home because I thought that my dad needed it more than I did and I left it there so that he could use it and so now I don't have it but I'm gonna talk about it sometimes you just need to look out for someone else even though your YouTube videos might suffer for it. It's a price to pay, a big price. But hey, someone's gotta do it. It is a Himalayan salt lamp that is formed into a bowl. Himalayan salt lamps are supposed to purify the air. I don't know if it works. I don't know how to tell if it works. But what it does is it heats up that bowl and then it has these little balls in, in it that it heats up as well. You can use it to massage out sore muscles like I use it on my shoulders, I use it on my feet and my legs when they get sore and I sometimes use them just to warm my fingers up. Perfect wit for winter because your appendages get a little freezing and you just need to warm them up somehow sometimes and this is perfect for doing that I really really like it it was kind of expensive but I got a gift card to Bed Bath & Beyond and that's how I bought it so I didn't have to spend that much money on it so that was really nice again great Christmas present thank you Cody and Molly so that's all I have for this favorites video I hope that at least one of the items that I showed helps you as much as it has helped me thank you for watching and I will see you next week.